And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Farron Burn. That's right, we're going uh, like tons and tons of burn spells. We're going to be going for that Nexus damage here. Let's take a look at our deck. So, of course, it's Noxus PNZ. We're going old school with Boom Crew Rookie Burn. Y'all that were playing back whenever Boom Crew Rookie was a 1 4 know how I'm just uh, big time this card used to be, but it's just a 1 3 now. But still going with that, Demolitionist, Grenadier, all these things can do Nexus damage, Legion Saboteur can. Then we got Mystic Shot, um, we got Get Excited, that's right, going back to Get Excited. Because Get Excited does pair pretty well with Draven, how Draven creates those spinning axes, that can be some good cards to discard. Or maybe later on in the game, you you know top deck a Precious Pad, or you know something like that, that it's not really going to do anything that you can just discard to Get Excited. And then we got Noxion Fervor, we got Decimate. And that's not enough. We got Captain Farron, three of them creating even more decimates for us. So yeah, Captain Farron's going to be our top end here. So if we have opponent stabilized, if they have some Nexus healing, uh, Captain Farron's going to be finishing the job. So we got full three of those, full three Darius coming in as a 10-6. Because <clears throat> they should definitely have 10 or less health by the time we get to turn six. So coming in as a 10-6, plus Darius' champion spell, more decimates. So we have the opportunity... Like, we're playing so many Decimates. We have regular Decimate, we have Darius Decimate, and we have Captain Farron making triple Decimate. Man, we're going to just Decimate some opponents. All right, so this is a burn deck <laughs> through and through. It's a donation deck. That's what the two Ds up here mean. We have two donation decks that we're going to be playing today. And then we're going to, once the uh, patch notes come out, we're going to be talking about that and the new set and all that kind of stuff as well. Uh, but yeah, we're, let's play our two donation decks. This both pretty aggressive. We got old fashioned spider aggro with Darius, and of course this burn deck with Darius as well. Too many three ofs to be a burn deck. That's that's what you burn decks are where you want. Hey, also good morning, Kava. Good burn decks are where you want three ofs. Whenever you're playing a deck that's very linear, very straightforward, it doesn't matter what our opponent's playing. We're going to be trying to burn our opponent down. And, it, it, you know, against every single type of deck, we have the same game plan. And we want that game plan to work. This is where you want a deck with three ups because you want to be streamlined and have a, like, that. you want to have your hand be the same every single game. And so this is a good, a good match or a good uh, deck to have three ups. All right, so we're going to keep one, two, three. Now, Noxion Fervor. We'll just keep Noxion Fervor. It's just a good card. We'll just keep it. That's the one that, you know, debating, do we keep this, yes or no? Explosives primed. All right, Lisa and Diana. We're going to be leading with Boom Crew Rookie, right? Because it's the, the best chance for Boom Crew Rookie to be able to attack and deal that two damage. Uh, the question is... I don't think, you know, do we block, do we attack with Saboteur? I don't think we have to sacrifice Saboteur. It'd be for two damage, right? Like we would get the one damage that the Saboteur attacks it with, and then the one extra damage that Boom Kuroki attacks with. But then our Saboteur is gone. With us holding Noxion Fervor, we may need that Saboteur to Noxion Fervor to get rid of this Eye of the Dragon. Which I think I'm going to do right now. So otherwise that Eye of the Dragon gets very big. It starts making Draglings. They heal the Nexus. Just all sorts of stuff I don't want to happen. Felt like that was my best play against Lee Sin. Cause yeah, I could have gone Iron Ballista, and they go Lee Sin, which is a three, which is a three four. But then they have like Lee Sin Pale Cascade. So we could go Grenadier plus Demolitionist. Actually, I probably should have just done that. I was thinking that I didn't want the Grenadier to be one one health against Mench of the Stones, but I probably should have just done that. Hey, Jack. We're gonna have your deck up second, Jack. Your the, your spider aggro deck. No. Well, I'm glad I the dragon is out of here. Prepare yourself. Try me. Oh. 
This is going to be tough to race this Lisa in, to be honest. This is not going to be easy. We do have 8 Nexus damage upstairs. In hand. I'm considering... Okay, so let's see. I don't know. I guess this puts him down to 10, and like I said, we have 8 Nexus damage upstairs. I'm definitely considering casting Mystic Shot on the Lee Sin. You know, doesn't let them use any of these gems. No, I probably just shouldn't do that, should I? So we'll kill the Grenadier. So that does two damage to them. More Mason reporting for duty. Noxians ruin what they cannot understand. Yeah, it's us figuring also that we should just Mystic Shot face. The few are the many. We're a burn deck. Conflict is all in the mind. I'll see this through. Let's burn him down. So that's turn six, so we're still two turns away from Captain Farron. Unfortunately, this would have been a good time for Captain Farron right here. Hello. Uh, Hello. I don't like this tasty Fae Folk. I don't like this tasty Fae Folk one bit. Conflict is all in the mind. My enter your spirit. Where are we at? How many spells? Six. So I feel like they're going to be able to protect Tasty Fae Folk. Right, doesn't it definitely feel like they're protecting Tasty Fae Folk? So I'm going to be Mystic Shotting my... I'm going to block with the spider and Mystic Shot my spider. So this doesn't do damage so they don't heal their nexus. Because I just don't I just don't think that Mystic Shot's gonna Yeah, you know, like they're I'm sure they got Bastion. I would not no cascade, just and you know, anything. So they are at three. And there we go. That'll work. Yeah, that probably meant no deny. So we're going to attack with both of these. And then Fervor. Upstairs during combat. You're strange. Yeah, well, for Fervor the Boom Crew Rookie. I hope that's Will of Ionia. I'm guessing it's Concussive Palm, but I'm hoping it's Will. Darn, because Concussive Palm, of course, still means they could have Deny. Just work. Oh, wait. That's still good. We still got five, because Boom Crew attack. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't challenge the Boom Crew the last turn. There we go. Burned them out. All right, playing same matchup. Exact same matchup. So we're going to mulligan the Captain Farron. Honestly, I kind of think that we just mulligan everything and just look, you know, we got to start out better. Mystic Shot. While it does kill Tasty Fae Folk, it doesn't kill Eye of the Dragon, which is the card that I'm more worried about immediately. Man, this hand is very ugly. Definitely got better with Draven. So, Kabla, you're saying you don't know why I don't like Boom Crew Rookie? Right here. This is why I don't like Boom Crew Rookie. This is why I don't like 1-3s. Just in general. It's Draven time. 
So I guess we have to discard to get excited. With the spinning axe just to have these trade. I also also alternatively I don't have to. I guess we could just let Boom Crew die and just worry about damage upstairs. Cause see this is four, seven, ten, thirteen. Maybe we just do that. Spirit, not my fists. Yeah, Ugh. good luck with that, kiddo. Hate Eye of the Dragon. Wow, I do not know why they're not just playing two gems here and then getting a Draggling. <clears throat> I would have done that for sure, but I guess I guess if they have Lee Sin, you know, they want to like play Lee Sin and then play two gems. Well, good, no Lee Sin. Still gonna get a draggling. <clears throat> it's just it's just such a waste of a get excited to try to burn the eye of the dragon when they're just gonna cast Bastion or Pale Cascade or anything. You know, that's just such a such a bad trade for me. Especially if it's Bastion turning that thing into a two four. Die of boredom? I mean, yeah, I guess if we're like I guess our chances of winning this game are are so slim. That I guess we try it, but oh come on! The card they just drew was Bastion, off that guiding touch. Yeah, like now we can't ever get through this. What is gained when we return malevolence? Got axes, need victims. I do like this transfusion draw. Good hand for them. I will not hold back. Enter your spirit. Stand aside. I've got work to do. Wait, what? Kaba, what are you talking about? If I if I had told you not to play Get Excited, you could have killed I the turn before. Whenever they played I the Dragon, I, I didn't have any mana. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Bye. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh, <clears throat> oh! The next, the the turn after I play the get excited. If I just don't play the get excited that turn, I wait till the next turn. I could, I could try to kill it. Yeah, I mean we're 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 very dead. They had a, a very good hand. GGs. I, Empires are built upon action. Move. Like what? Like I can decimate? Um. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I guess that's what we do. Lee Sin's not gonna be nerfed. And I don't think it will be. I'll be surprised if it is. I I think the Bastion will be nerfed, but I don't think Lee Sin will be. I will not hold back. I mean this this deck is definitely like when you have, you know, Lee Sin right away. Like you know, like when they have like these cards, when you have I the Dragon and Lee Sin right away, their deck can win. But like if they don't have these two cards, their deck has no chance of winning. What is gained when you return malevolence? That's just that's just what their deck's like. 
<laughs> Alright, let's go to the next game. We don't need to sit through this. The battle is lost, but the war rages yeah. on. All right, so the good news is this is a really slow deck, and so that's good news for our burn deck. The bad news is they have tons of Nexus healing in Targon. And they're playing, you know, playing the anti-decimate with star shaping. No one's the wiser. So good news and bad news. Of course I'm ready. Time to go. Good draw. So they're probably going to play Trundle here, right? If I attack, we're doing 10 damage, putting them down to 7, they play Trundle. I could also play Precious Pet and Saboteur and then Transfusion. You know, they have Avalanche. Rough. And they did have Avalanche. Okay, so that's that's rough. Um, we're going to keep this alive. Wasn't expecting Avalanche because... Don't see Avalanche that much, but that's why I led with the that's why I led with the Precious Pet, not let not leading with the Saboteur. I didn't want to risk the Saboteur dying. I have my <clears throat> so we're ending up doing a lot more damage. Like we would have done ten damage if I would have just gone right to attacks. By not going right to attacks, we dealt fifteen. So I think that worked out. This part didn't work out as well. Alright, GG's. There we go, two and one. Guess it worked out. Alright, two and one. Ezreal Twisted Fate. I don't really want to keep double Precious Pet against Ezreal Twisted Fate. You know, against they're going to all be about make it rains, get excited, or sorry, make it rains and static shocks and all that kind of stuff. Mystic Shot, I'm not so sure about. I could go either way with Mystic Shot. So Saboteur would have dealt more damage, but I don't know, I kind of felt like they were going to kill this, and then I was going to play Saboteur afterwards. Especially how they pass like that, so it kind of felt like. Explosives primed. Yeah, we yeah we we played a Twisted Fizz the other day, and it felt real good. Twisted Fate Fizz, yeah, like they're... That kind of combo deck is doing pretty good. That's a great petty officer. It's an odd attack, right? Seems like an odd attack. I'm guessing they have Twisted Fate Gold Card. Like, that's what they wanted to do, is Gold Card the Ballista. I, f I figure, like, you know, if I don't block the 1-1, one, one, like, whenever I attack, they just block with the 1-1, one, one, right? So it doesn't make that much difference either way, whether I'm blocking it or not. I should have had I should have had my four three challenge this. 
Okay, let's see. If I if I transfusion, this Iron Ballista just dies, but then this one stays alive at two health, but then their Dreadway Deckhand stays alive as well. Um, if I go the other way, I guess it makes more sense to do one damage to this, pump this up. Takes two, four, stays alive at one, but then their Dreadway Deckhand dies. That probably makes more sense. So I either have a Ballista at two. So that's why I should have challenged this the other way. I should have had the Powder Keg go over here. So they either have a, a Ballista at two and they have Dreadway Deckhand or a Ballista at one and no Dreadway Deckhand. And so we'll go the second. We'll have Ballista at one with no Dreadway Deckhand. Don't blink or you miss me. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. If I go so Decimate... Dangerous. I'm in. We still don't get to have Darius level up either way. Time for the main event. All right, let's go, Draven. I'm always up for a round or two. I'm a people person. So yeah, that's what I didn't want to play Darius and get it gold carded. Between me and glory. All right, we'll go whirling death. Try to kill the Cesriel. So they don't continue to get free mystic shots. All right, so 10 mana, I can go double decimate. Put that down to eight, and then my Darius is gonna be a 10-6. They won't be able to, you know, they'll have a Twisted Fate in play. So they won't be able to do that. Basically, it's like Riptide Rex, right? Like if, if they have Riptide Rex, I'm, I'm probably dead. If they don't, I'll probably win. Like that's probably just the game. Which, um, we know, Four of these cards are mine. So just there's only one card that's not mine. Is this card over here. For the glory of Noxus. So they'll have one card plus this draw. If they have Riptide Rex. We're probably dead. If not, they're probably dead. We can lead with these other two first and see if, you know, maybe we bait out some other spells. Maybe they don't Riptide Rex. All right, that's not Rex. Hey, Herman, uh, thank you so much for Looks the like sub. I appreciate street. that. All right, well, I guess I didn't really consider that the Twisted Fate level up. And now they can go gold card. Yeah, I didn't really consider that, to be honest. to hope that they just played something and then and then I play Darius. And so that was a really fast twisted fate level up then uh yeah then they were gonna be able to gold card the Darius. Alright so this deck's pretty this deck's kinda similar to like the Lee Sin deck. Where they're definitely built around their champion and really want to draw their champion. Okay, good. We got a one drop. Um, and their deck's going to be a lot... Because basically, like, whenever this deck has Heimerdinger, their clock, uh, as far as killing me, speeds up, um, you know, immensely. And same thing, like, with the Lee Sin deck. Whenever they have Lee Sin, they can kill you quickly. When they don't, they can't kill you, like, at all. So same kind of thing here. So we hope that they don't have... Um, we hope they don't really have... Heimerdinger for a while, so then, then they struggle killing us. 
because the longer it takes for them to kill us, the more time we have for our burn spells. All right, let's go Draven on three. Time for the main event. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. To leave or burn. Well, Iron Ballista, you know, would have had the overwhelm. Maybe I should have gone that. annoying. That blocks Ballista. Moving into sight. I guess this block doesn't really make any sense. Well, yeah, yes it does, I guess, because it protects against Bastion. What are you waiting for? Yeah, it protects against Bastion. Like, I don't know how many gems I want them to just really be creating. So we do have Whirling Death. Alright, so we're gonna Whirling Death. Uh, this thing. So that will kill Vi. And then we'll still have the Overwhelm damage go through. out pretty well and now we got all of our burn spells they, they found their champion but that just takes too much mana hmm wait what am I doing <laughs> I'm just so used to playing Decimate. <laughs> Alright, GG's. All me. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. Alright, so this deck felt pretty good. You know, we did end up losing two games, going three and two, but you know, three and two's still a good record. Um, you know, that that Bilgewater matchup. You know, they had the, the right stuff, and still I thought that we were going to be winning that until they leveled up Twisted Fate super fast by playing, you know, Black Marker Merchant, Yordle Grifter, Pilfer Goods, Pilfer Goods, and suddenly drawing six cards, and you know, suddenly leveling it up the turn after they played it. Um, but, uh, yeah, this this one felt pretty good. I, I mean, I like having Captain Farron at the top end. Definitely a big fan of that. And I think Darius makes a lot of sense. Yeah, just some some good old Nexus damage. You know, nothing too nothing too fancy here. Just get after it and deal damage to the opponent's Nexus. All right, so that's Farron Burn. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you uh, got any comments, please leave those. If you've tried out yourself, you know, if you've been playing any Burn decks, feel free to let me know. I always appreciate those comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.